Turkey's president's promising help for Libya's internationally recognised government, and that would include troops. It could also lead to a confrontation, though, with the UAE, Egypt and others who support the warlord Khalifa Haftar. He's been trying to take over the capital Tripoli for months. This report from Andrew Chappelle. The UN-recognised government in Tripoli is under attack. <laughs> Warlord Khalifa Haftar has called for a decisive battle nearly eight months after his offensive began. Last week, his forces shot down a Turkish drone and captured an important camp for militias allied to the government of National Accord south of the city. Now Turkey has offered to step up its support to the Tripoli government. President Erdogan recently signed maritime and military deals and says he's ready to send troops to Libya if requested. With these agreements, the rights of both Turkey and Libya will be protected in the Mediterranean. The individual called Haftar is definitely not a legitimate president or prime minister. He is just a person who appears to be illegitimate. Turkish military support could put it on a collision course with the UAE, Jordan and Egypt, which are backing Haftar. President Sisi says it's in the region's interest to end the conflict. Today, if we look at what's happening in Libya over the last few years and why the government there has not been able to have real free will, speaking frankly, it's because it is hostage to the armed and terrorist militias that exist in Tripoli. In the meantime, every country is dealing with the situation based on its own interests. It is in our collective interest that this region goes back to stability. Qatar, which also supports the Tripoli government, wants to see a political solution. Sadly, we see proxy wars supported by many nations in Libya, which has caused devastation for the people. We want the Libyan people to rise from these troubles, and we want to see peace between the factions and a clear political direction between them. Complicating matters further, Libya's UN-recognized government says hundreds of Russian mercenaries are also fighting for Haftar, though Russia denies this. If uh, uh, Haftar continues his assault, uh, as seems likely, and Turkey continues to, uh, 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 to live up to its commitment, there is danger of an escalation of this conflict, which might turn into a regional uh, issue. The Tripoli government has not accepted the offer from Turkey, yet. If it does, a quick reaction force could be sent, capable of fighting on the ground, sky and sea. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.